This is the Afro Perspective Podcast, the home of over opinionated young voices. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Afro Perspective Podcast. My name is Tinashe and I am joined with my co-host Anton. And today we are going to be doing a special edition of the podcast with a special guest. Um, I'd like to introduce um, the CEO of Sadaka. Um, his name's Olivier Te- Te- Temo, Temo, I'll let you. Um, yeah, Olivier Temo. Olivier Temo. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, we decided uh, we were going to come to Sadaka and you know have a sit down yeah. and uh, you know get up to speed with what's going on with Sadaka as an organization. You know, ask questions and just basically have a discussion, which I think it's very important as a community that we always engage in conversation. Um, it sort of, you know, it, it's the best way forward um so it's good to have you on the um on the show and thank you very much for giving us your time yeah thank you to be honest i'm looking forward to the show and firstly i will start by saying massive congratulations because i do follow you guys on facebook on twitter and instagram and i've been extremely pleased with the quality of your work i think you guys are doing an outstanding job for our community and i will and i will want you both truly to carry on carry on doing what you guys are doing it's absolutely brilliant for our community okay um so we're gonna get into it um so where do we start (laughs) um so i guess the first um question is um what is Sadaka at this point um, as an organization, can you sort of give us a breakdown, a brief breakdown of the organizational structure? Um, obviously, starting with uh, your role and um, where things are in terms of the organization. Of course, thank you. It's an exciting time for Sadaka. I've never been pleased to see Sadaka, you see, being placed at the forefront of community organization in our city, like we are currently. And uh, we're going through a lot of different processes. And where we are now, compared to where we were f- six years ago, it's, it, it, it's brilliant. I mean, it's, I'm the chief exec of Sadaka, the CEO of Sadaka, and I've been in my current position for the past six years. And in terms of the structure, we got a board of trustee. We currently free director, the chairman Robert Cottrell that you all know, the other director Rob Walker, and myself Olivier Temo. And uh, we work very, very closely to deliver for our community. And you see, you all are aware that six years ago Sadaka was pretty much closing the mm-hmm. door. I mean, we have to step in and work intensively day and night to place the organization where it belongs. That means to be a forefront of community services in our city. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, first and foremost, can we, why was Sadaka in a position where we were looking to close in the first place? Because I think that's probably quite an important point that you just raised. That's correct. And that's a valid question to ask. That means we are not going to go into the detail because our organization exists since 55. And it has, you see, if you look at the curve of existence of Sadaka, it's a bit like a sinusoid. That means the graph is like this up and down. I mean, it's the prior to our own leadership. That means prior to uh, 2015, the previous 10 years has been chaotic in terms of finals. I mean, so we, we came to an organization that was more than a half of a million in debt. That means we took Sadaka with half of a million in debt, but over a period of six years, we clear all that debt. And this is now a, an organization that is actually making profit for, for itself. So is, uh, so can you actually confirm that Sadaka is in, um, is in the black now? Sadaka is out of the black. That means we took Sadaka when Sadaka was in the black. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, in the red. In the red. Yeah. 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 Of, of <laughs> <laughs> I had to think, I had to think about it twice before I even said it. Yeah. <laughs> I am a mathematician. Then I do understand yeah. those terms uh, really well. No, we came here when Sadaka was on his knees. That means Sadaka was more than half of a million in debt. And this was poorly due to mismanagement. But I'm not going to go back into it. It's blaming our community. I'm yeah. sure that that leadership did the best that they could. Cool, but the best wasn't good enough. So yeah. can you give us a, um, can you give us an idea of the circumstances under which the new uh, board of directors was appointed? Um, I mean, the, 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 
the, the transition? Yeah, because session 146 was actually issued to Sadaka, meaning clearly, I mean, it's move out of the building. Yuga can carry on to function. And again, I have to say, it wasn't just Sadaka, because the VCS sector, that means the voluntary community sector in, in our in our country since 2007, when we have the financial meltdown, have ceased to, to receive grant money. That means it wasn't our, just Sadaka as an organization, but many of uh, community organization. But again, this is because we have always seen voluntary organization, not as a business, Mm -hmm. That means managers have never, you see, run a, a, a community organization like, like a business. That means with a business mind in terms of yeah. generating money, it was only about let me come and sit down and wait for support, receive money and eat, but not actually generate. Again, this is their own skills. That, that's the level of the skill that they had. Yeah. But in today's society, it's extremely it's complex. A, yeah. That means you actually need the right people at the right place. If mm -hmm. you haven't got the skill to take an organization like this and sometimes put your own personal money and have the skill to challenge. Remember, it's tough out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you not, if you don't understand all these systemic issues, you finish, you will be out. Mm -hmm. And that's why over the past seven years, I will say, in England, black people, not just in Sheffield, black community organizations have ceased to operate. Mm -hmm. You heard the news in Nottingham and pretty much everywhere where there are black people. Yeah. Then now, what we need to do is to view community organization as a proper business. Service delivery that will actually generate profit to keep the organization moving. Because don't expect... Uh, stakeholders, that means most of what I will call the white organization to actually provide you money. One thing is sure, they don't want to see us successful. Okay, so is there transparency as to who the stakeholders are? The stakeholders for, for, for me, most of the cities are the council. The council, yeah. Exactly, these are the council. And it's not the aim. Remember, we're living in a country that's institutionally racist. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for us black people? Nobody wants to see people who look like you, like me, different shade of black to be successful. Yeah. Then you need to take that into account. What we need to do is to be innovative in our approach. We need to realize that when we got a place like Sadaka, let's come together, be reflective in all our approaches and make sure that the black pounds stay in the black you see, uh, market. So going back to the um, takeover with the new sort of board, uh, with the new board of directors, what was the process um, in terms of who was appointed into these yeah, positions? Yeah, it, it, it was, yeah, it was live. That means we have the community there. I think back then, I think you were all probably uh, uh, as well on the floor. That means we have an AGM and in fact, it was one of the conditions. Remember, Sadaka for many years was funded by Sheffield City Council. Yeah. And I've challenged Sheffield City Council many, many times, but I have to set back because they proved to me and I can see it for myself during during all my forensic uh, accountability. Accounting, yeah. Exactly. That they have given our community quite a lot of money and we cannot blame. It is our fault that we mismanage the money that they have given us. That means the money has been thrown to Sadaka over the years. Has there been any accountability as to the money that was mismanaged? Anybody, uh, has anybody been held accountable for that? Uh, we are not going to go to destroy our community. That means the best bit yeah, but is... I mean, I mean, it's good to be transparent with the community as well so people know because mm. one of the biggest gripes that people have with Sadaka is mm. every, it's, you know, it's, it's always been whispered in the community that funds were misappropriated and, you know, but there's never been any clarity as to, you know... I mean, obviously, I don't want just to like, just, or whatever. But of, of, course, of course, of course, just like in any system, I hear you, in any system, when a system is not working, what do you see? It's, it's the leaders. Yeah. That means if the government is not functioning, you want Boris Johnson, you want his head cut off. Yeah. Let's let put it that way. That's only in colloquial term, not, not in reality. <laughs> but here in Sadaka as well, that means all this journey that Sadaka had, the only person that you can only go and ask direct question are the managers at the time. It's a okay. bit like us right now during our tenure here and it's still ongoing. If something happened here, if you heard something on the story, the first person that you need to challenge is to come to me, to come to Rob, to come to the other Rob. I mean, you see, you guys are the leaders that we know yeah. what truly happened. Okay, so That's correct. But what I need to say to you is, and it's not just yeah, Sadaka, sorry. that during our time here, we haven't received any funding from Sheffield City Council. That's what I was just no, about yeah, to ask. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That means not at all. Sadaka operate and every is it's not a secret. I put a lot of my personal money in here, not just my time every single day. I don't get paid. I mean, I put a lot of my money to invest only because I want my community to be successful. Okay, this that, is massively that important. That leads me to a question that I wanted to ask you in the sense that, because um, I did see um, on the website that it said that 
um, you know, there, there was some personal um, financial detriment to the people that took over. Mm. What does that mean? Is that an investment that you've put into Sadaka? It's two way. Of course, it's, it's, it's both ways. That means, it's, first of all, you see, because for us to be able to stabilize the organization, we have to put our credit rating at risk. Example, I can't go, go right now and get a mortgage, not just me, Robert and Robert as well. We can, because we have to put our names as being blacklisted just to save the organization. And this is for a period of minimum five years. We have to put our- So how does that fit into the organizational structure? You know, as an organization, there are certain um, sort of rules, and et cetera, as to how, um, you, you know, you conduct that. How does that fall in terms of- so I you've invested you in, it, It's like investing course, in any business you're going to- Of course, of course. I explained to you in, in blank term. Let's say you, you just get a mortgage and uh, your dad left you with uh, a- probably with- with, with, no, suppose you just get a mortgage. That means you, and, and uh, I won't even take a mortgage. I'm going to go in, in, in a more simple way. You receive a loan and you can't pay. What happened to you? Yeah, you, you, you default on the loan payment. Yeah, you get exactly. Situation. That means we came here and left, uh, 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 and you see where we got engaged into an organization that's, that was nearly half of a million in debt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Barely knocking the door with the police every single day, different, different, different. That means what you can do was to put our asset, that means who we have physically and some of our wealth and say, okay, take it. We put our name, we so, are so the, the Ghana. So you personally invested into Sadaka. Does that give you any form of ownership? No, 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 no. There is no ownership here. This is community. That means we don't so own. So the building. still Remember, owned by the community then? Not owned by the community. It's a council building. It's a council building. But I mean, Sadaka as an institution. Of course, it's the community. Of course, it's, uh, of course, it's a community. Of still of course, the council. Of course, of course. What's the position in terms of acquiring Sadaka? That's something good. And this is something that we're looking for. And we're coming extremely close. Remember, the first key issue for us when we took over was let's give ourselves five, six years to actually clear the debt. That's something that we have already achieved. That means this is an organization now that has no debt at all. Okay. That's, you see, that's a big tick box. Yeah, Yeah, congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's a big thing to half a million dollars. Of of, of course, of course, of course, of course. Then this is something that's completely in the past. And that's why we don't want to keep diving back into the past. I want to look forward. And that's why we're here today. I mean, and how do we actually you see, model our path yeah. to, to, to success. Then uh, Saraka now is a very successful organization. And that's why everybody, not just in the in, in Sheffield, open up the country, want to work with us and we're working with them. Okay. Mm. Okay. And, and you can see this just by Googling Sadaka. You can see yeah, it for yourself. Um, Numbers yeah, you can just go. It does look Thank good. You. Um, Thank you. Um, Thank you. Reason to my next question. So there's, I've got two questions off the back of that. So one is why are we not receiving external funding from elsewhere? And the second one is how are you maintaining revenue for Sadaka overall? What kind of services are you offering to the community to kind of bring those revenue streams in? Of course, yes. Sadaka to uh, resume pretty much to put it in more simple term for the public out there to understand. I mean, it's, we stand for three things, business, education, and care. Yeah. When it comes to business, I mean, it's, we got a, a very, very important business department here that generate money to, to survive. In fact, without our business arm, it won't be anything. And when I come to business, prior to COVID, we were doing extremely well. That means with uh, the bar event, you got, you got a business guy. And that's why we're here today. Yeah, because yeah. remember the aim of what I've said is to keep the black pound into the black community. That's yeah. massively important. We're going to touch. Gonna uh, touch. Uh, exactly. Then we got business. Then we got the education. But the business arm of Sadaka is what generate money. And when you talk about business when i first came here what we designed is, is what we call a care a care business i mean it's a domicile care business going into people home and actually care for them i mean it's, and this is probably what the community don't know yeah. some people yeah. might say that they don't see that i didn't know that to be no 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 that. many people will know the, the reason why people say we, they don't see it always ask them how often do they visit sadaka do they know what happened in sadaka okay. how <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> do they actually do they, do they actually go online and see all this sometimes it's a shame that white people know who we are compared to the people that we are meant to serve yeah, but this is again because we don't do research into our own community. I mean, for someone just to say, I don't know what Sadaka is all about. That means I need to ask them, have you actually been to Sadaka? When was the last time you visit the premises? Okay, so about, um, I had a um, browse on the website and um, quote, 
placing the organization at the heart of the city in terms of its vision for the next 50 years, being fit for purpose for a new and refreshed offer to communi- communities and being the anchor organization, not only for those of African and Caribbean descent, but being an inclusive and collaborative space reflected, reflective of the communities it serves. Right. I'm sure you know that um, that's on your um, mission statement on of your uh, website. The reason why I um, pulled it up is um, I'm trying to understand where communities outside of the African and Caribbean fit into, um, like, is inclusion necessary at a point where we're just about recovering the only resource that we have, the only institution that we have that is for Black people and for uh, African and Caribbean people, taking into consideration that other communities do not necessarily include Black people? There's no... um, sort of allyship from the Asian community where um, community issues are concerned, where their institutions are concerned. Um, why doesn't Sadaka have the same stance? Yeah, and that's a valid, valid question. I, I'll respond to you. And this is from expertise and from experience as well. And uh, we should not, that means the greatest danger for us will be to follow what others are doing. I mean, sometimes success comes from designing your own path proof observation. That's what I call totemism, the advanced science to, of observation. You need to be extremely careful. Do us believe that we only that we need to drive our own path? Yes. Do I also believe that we also need to include others? Yes. Because as soon as... Bear with me, I'll explain to you and and then then you understand. Because, I explained to you, we haven't yet reached the stage where we can say we don't need others. We haven't yet reached that. If we have reached that stage, like other community, I can say to you, we don't need them yet. But when I'm here, when, when where we are now, I still want us to come together, but I also want the others to be part of what we're doing. Because we need to use their money just like they're currently using our money. We shop to their shop. Do you truly believe that we need to do that? No, we don't. But then we can design our own path. Remember, our primary target is our community. Never, never. And the leadership of Sadaka will always be. But can I close the door when I haven't reached yet? Is someone? No, I won't. I still need other community to come in and I get money from them as well, just like they're currently okay. doing with us. I, I want to, you see... I'm pragmatic in my approach where my community is concerned. So my Mm. question to you is, how does it benefit black people? How does it benefit African people? In in what way um, does that inclusion benefit my people? Yes. And and that's very important. I would prefer you to ask me, how have you managed to to actually close, you see, uh, the deep debt that you got had? How do you manage to close half, half of a million? Then I will respond to you by saying, out of that half of a million pound debt, 90% of the money to close, that means to close that gap came from the white community. Bear with me, I explain to you, then you should ask me, where is our black community? It's great to say that you want to, to put the other community to one side, but what you need to realize is that we are not yet to the level where we got a community. That means where the black pound is in one place. If you look here, people who are, example, paying the rent here and so on and doing business with Sadaka are white people. They are not on the boards. They come in here because I create a space for them and it's everybody. This is business. Business, money, when it comes to business, hasn't got a color. What you want is, first of all, money to achieve your target. And then when you got that money, you can then decide, I don't need you anymore. But for now, we are not in a position to say I only need the black pound. Yeah, but Olivia, you understand how neocolonialism works, right? I hear you. Now, is that not putting us at the risk of them um, sort of, uh, can you guarantee that that will not compromise our influence on Sadaka as an institution, i.e. these investors are not going to eventually be influencing Sadaka in a way that doesn't necessarily serve the interests of the black community. That will never, that will never. First of all, because you see, you get all diehard Pan-Africanists leading Sadaka. I, got, I mean, I got, need you to give me, I need to, because exactly. obviously, that means you, you, wherever, got, you can have a look at your my heart, you can see the bank to leadership, <laughs> and, and, yeah. and you understand very well. But at the same time, we are a one family of human beings. Mm-hmm. That means we are a one race nation. Yeah, exactly. That means we are a one family of, of human beings. But for me, inclusivity is extremely important. But when it comes to leadership, 
Sadaka is led by black. It's a black. It's a black center. All right. So can you guarantee that the okay. leadership and the influence and the, the you know this 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 these contributions or not even I, I don't know how, but it's not at the expense of us. Of the control that we have of no, Sadaka no, 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 as that an institution, because imp- 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 obviously a lot of course. investors, a lot of no, you know, no, no, no. They, they, they all, always first of all, want- when we say investor, that means the majority of the investment. I'm talking about a clientele. Most of the clientele, clientele doesn't necessarily mean they're coming to invest more money. Their money is minimal, but the biggest investment in Sadaka is le- is the leadership of Sadaka. That means it's the leadership. It it, it 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 is our brain that's actually in use here. It is a majority as well our, our finance to lead our own community, but the then here will be to portray Sadaka as an only black organization serving only black customer. Yeah, but and the do it. No, no, no. Nobody does it because you need to understand it's first of all against the law. And this is true. It's against the law. You cannot say that you're only serving a certain. And today, you you know very well there is an equality agenda. You cannot only say that you're serving only the. Oh black. no! I mean, in terms of serving, you, you can serve. It's the, the community, whole, of course. Yes. In terms of the organizational structure. No, no, no. I'm this not is this see is a black chairman chairman No, 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 no. Five this, years. No, no, no. This is a black-led organization. But in terms of serving, we are serving the Sheffield community, which we are. Well, I mean, the Sadak has always welcomed members of. You thank know, you, thank um, you, outside. and and it is that vision that we want to promote all the time because we're one family. You don't want your friend who, because it's why to say Sadaka is not for you. No, Sadaka is for everyone. All but right. the leadership of Sadaka will still remain black. Let me change the subject a little bit. Right. So um walking around this building as we come to set up in this room, um, I've been in this building a few times and I've noticed that the, the space is it's humongous. Um, I suppose one of we put a poll out there to ask some questions directly to yourselves and one of the questions that came up was why has the sadaka space not been utilized in a better way for the community yes yes and 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 that's a valid question but you need to go back sadaka is a building that's nearly 200 years old and it's a heritage site building i mean the the, the building is great to list it and one of the failure of the organization over the year was not to maintain the building to a good standard because remember business people they're not come to they're coming to you because you my brother or my sister no they're coming to you because remember you run a business the number one profit the number one aim of any business is to generate profit then people won't just come here because they need to come. So that can need to be attractive for them to actually want to come here. And that's why you see a lot of this repair that has happened here for the past two years. Uh, you will come here and say to me that you can see the change yourself. You, you can notice. That means you walk around the building. It's not work. But how many people know that there has been all this change happening in Sadaka? Okay, that's a very good question. And it leads on to the question that I was going to ask you. What have you actually done? Um, yeah. What have you actually done as an organization to engage with the African community, with the Caribbean community? Because um, a lot of things that are going on in Sadaka, I can guarantee you, a lot of people do not know simply because there's there's nothing in this um, sort of modern age, age. in this yes. modern age that we live yeah, in. Yeah. There are tools that you can use to engage with. That's correct. And that's a valid question. And again, it's not closing you down, but I will say this. How, you see, how often our people are curious to know about themselves? Know thyself. How curious? I'm going to say this to you. Have you just been on, 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 on the social media and type on Twitter, example, Sadaka Limited, on Instagram, Sadaka Limited, on Facebook, and see the professionalism and see how, how come it's always white people who actually see our work I, and not our people? I would, I'll let you land and I'm going to ask a question. Yeah, mm-hmm. What I'd actually say is, um, earlier on you said that Sadaka, uh, we're moving on from um, running Sadaka as a community center, just as a community center, uh, more with a business model. Of course. Um, and a strategic um, sort of plan going ahead. Yes. So one of the most important aspects of any business um, sort of endeavor or organization is mm. marketing. That's correct. How much of your resources have you actually used to market Sadaka to the community that it's supposed to serve in terms of newsletters, in terms of emails, in terms of social media adverts, in, in terms of... Um, no, I, mean, I, think, I think you've got it with the social media aspects. I think in the generation that we're in today, I personally... I'll give you an example. So mm. I've come in today... And I've gone into the main hall. I don't know if it's a secret or not, so you can, we can edit it out if it's not an issue. I've gone into the main hall. It's changed. Yes. And nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, mm. I didn't mm. even know that. So, but, so you've changed that room. Yes. And I'm not going to lie, saying that the community have not been engaged, I think is a, 
is a bit of a cop out because mm. for the last however many years, years mm. it's always been the same. So you mm. can't expect after 20 or 30 years for someone to then think, oh, they've actually changed in there. Now I've gone in there today and it looks great. That's but, good. And, and I'm pleased. And I'm, t- I'm going to say this to you. again. But Thank what I'm you. saying is, I've, yes. you, I, I can't put that on the but people. I can, say to, this, I can say this to you for anybody who is curious and who follows Sadaka. And I'm just talking to you with data to prove it. It is on the Twitter account, the Twitter account of Sadaka. You're going to see how, that means you're going to see how the main hole was before. Yeah, but and how many now people in is, Sheffield are following your Twitter that, account? Yeah. No, pe- people people don't. And, and and you can understand, I explained to you, pe- may, not, not many people don't. Not many people don't because many people have been, uh, that means they lack the engagement of Sadaka due to many reasons. Remember that our, our people are still seeing Sadaka like probably back this is where 15 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is where you have so to I think we get into the crux of the issue. We're putting the exactly. onus on Sadaka to say, yes. as an organization, you mm. know that the perception of Sadaka is mm. still based on what the old guys did. Mm. Nobody doesn't even, half of the people in Sheffield don't even know who you are. If they saw you, they wouldn't, yeah. they wouldn't even know that you, you're the you're CEO, CEO of Sadaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. no, 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 no. Now, yes. as, as, as an organization, mm. you have to take some form of responsibility and accountability for actually going out there to the community and engaging with the community mm. and engaging, especially with the young members of the community. Mm. I can guarantee you right now, the young members, when we had the Black Lives Matter movement, Ross mm. at the bar mm. was one of the leaders. He's mm. younger than me and Anton. Mm. Yes. And they managed to get the whole of Sheffield yes. in one place. So they came And something that you will forget is that Ross planned everything here in Sadaka. And I was he mentoring him. He planned everything him. here in Sadaka, but yes. none of that ever came back to Sadaka. None yeah. of all of that, none of, n- what I'm trying to mm. explain is there's power in engaging with the young mm. um what I, what I will say this to you and I'm very strong there because if if the, and I'm brutally honest with here with you uh, I think that you see it, it, it's a two way process we cannot do everything. I always, that means don't act like our community is not to be blamed because I'm here six days a week. What I want to say to you is how often the community will actually walk in here. Example, you, I'm not talking to you too because I know you, you frequent visitor of Sadaka. You will come here if you know, you will always come back here, mm. but not many people like you, including even those who will, will come here during your event. How many of them will come here to say what is actually available for Sadaka and what can I do? The reason then is- ask ourselves as well. No, 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 no. It's important to also ask it the community. How often are you, first of all, a member? Community is a member, uh, Sadaka is a member organization. The membership is only £10 a, a, a year. £10 a year. And you well, can pay. And, the member. Yeah, I was yes. bad, and you can And you can pay your membership online. You don't actually need to come here. But how many people actually pay for the membership to say, I'm actually given a bit to my community? Okay, so back to your question, because that was one I was going to ask yes. as well. So, what is the benefit of being a member of Sadaka? For £10 a year, for me, if I'm brutally honest, we should not even say what is the what, what is the benefit because I pay seventy five pound a year at Triton where I live for a white community only because I want to support a community organization that's next door to me and it's and, and it's why I pay seventy five pound a year for that yeah, and I don't you know use it but for you no no I, I've get. never used it and I've lived in and I live in my home at, uh, you see where where I am now for nearly eight years but when you come here in Sadaka where you asking our community only ten pound less than a pound a month. Then you will have just listen to the feedback. What am I getting for my ten yeah, pound? What people am I want to know? People actually want to know what they get no. because yes. if people feel like over the years mm. because of the rumors of corruption in Sadaka because walk, they were right. Walk listen, Sadaka, it's, they see the building it's, looking derelict. That's correct. They, at some point, people are actually going to say, were, you know what? But yeah, ten pounds is yes. not the money; it's the principle of it. Why am I paying? I hear, my 10 I hear that. I but those, but progress. those people as well need to understand that at the time they were right to ask those valid questions okay. because Sadaka was an organization that was receiving a lot of money from the stakeholders. But again, our community sometimes are not well informed into how the nation is going, how our nation is going. If they knew that for the past 11 years, community organizations, not just Sadaka, are not receiving any penny and that unless you generate your own money from using your brain to innovate your services, you close down and it's not about racism. Because the country just hasn't got the money. Yeah. Then if, when you know that you should know then, then let me support my community. So let me give that money. So do you not think that goes back to the marketing of Sadaka and the marketing? marketing. I, I, I don't think I can let you off the No, don't let me there. The but, 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 but because where we are, I'm going to say this to you, when you're successful, you want to say to me that we're not marketing very well, but I'm saying to you from evidence, because it's me 
who have designed it from evidence that I've got on the paper and from the feedback that I'm having from all the stakeholders and seeing where I am, I would say to you that no, that's not where the issue is. The issue for me is the inactivity from the black community. Yeah, but the inactivity. No, not because Sadaka is not well marketed. No, Sadaka is very well marketed. And to know that Sadaka is well marketed, if I want to know how an organization is marketed, I will come and say to myself, how responsive are you? If you say to pretty much everybody who have ever used Sadaka email, they will say to you when they send an email, even at midnight, they receive a, a, a response. Yeah, but- when you look into our responses, our social media, all days, you can see a lot of engagement. Then when you say to me, my shame is that when I do a partition of who are currently engaging with Sadaka, mm. I'm realizing with shame that it's not truly my community. But now this is the question and you valid to ask me, why are you not going into that community and do this? But I'm then going to say to you, to convince our community, because you need to be very strategic. You need to ask yourself, where do I need to waste more energy to gain more? Or waste more energy to gain less? In business, you got to prioritize. If I know that there is white community here that I can go with them, get the money that I need to put my organization where it need to be. And this is, no, just wait, just wait. No, 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 no. Remember, remember what I'm saying to you. It's a matter of priority. If you know that you're going to go to a community and spend four hours because you need to go back to a journey that they're well aware of that journey and convince them that it won't happen. And then you got the other community who got more money compared to our own community and they don't know the past. They just want to do business with you. Where will you go as a businessman to get the money? I, I, I'll have to disagree with you in the sense of that course. Um, if if members of the Sheffield community, if mm. you were to turn around to the Sheffield community and actually market it and say, mm. Sadaka was half a million pounds in debt. Yes. And Sadaka is now in the black. Mm. The community would actually sit sit back and say, oh, okay, so who's in control? Nobody knows that, that you're in control. No, no, no. Nobody yes, knows that, that Sadaka's that in new hands. Let me, it yes. makes you look, so the community you, engagement would change me, if they knew that there's a respond, new pragmatic. Let me respond to that. Sadaka's an organization, we got the way we operate and I've never missed one of the meetings. That means we do have a member meeting. If you ask a member, someone who have paid 10 pound and who, and who come to member meeting, just listen to this and this is very, very, yeah important. Since I've been here, we do have member meeting every single first Sunday of, of, of the month. And they are report. That means people knows the journey of Sadaka. Mm-hmm. This is not new information for member of Sadaka who take any interest here. Elders, all these elders who are here every single day talk to me mm-hmm. and I see some member meeting. They know it. They know exactly. This is not new for them. But people who for the past 10 years haven't actually been in Sadaka or even go at a daycare to see the elders and talk. They know nothing. They will say to you, but you haven't. Well, the members, yes. you've already got your members mm, in yes. marketing. You're not concerned about the customers that you've got already. You're concerned about the people that don't no. know about your business. You got to and you got to keep the customer that you got, and the way to keep them is to keep them. Uh, the way to there's, keep them is actually to inform there's them. There's a question. Yes, there. So the question yes. is: so what is the age range? Just obviously average, just estimate yes. of your members, and what are you doing to attract? new members to Sadaka? Of course, that's again a very good question. It would depend on department. At the beginning, I've said to you that Sadaka stands for business, education, and then care. Mm-hmm. If I take the care sector example, that means the daycare center, where we work with all the top university in the world. And again, you can go online and passionate and excited because the amount of work that we have done, no other community have done so. And it's online. On our website, you're going to see, we were this year, last year, in fact, when we received the award, best community care center of the year. How many people have actually gone to see the work that we have done to see this? Bear with me, I finish, I finish on all this. Best community care center for the work that we've done. Sometimes, I would say to you probably, I can say we fail sometimes to put so much of our progress out there, but I will explain to you there's a valid reason out of it. Then for care, the age is our elders who are in majority 75 and over. That's one sector. Now, if you look at education, there is an education program here that's free, that's been running for the past five years. I'm a mathematics lecture, uh, consultant, a lecturer. For five years, many people in this community have received free math tuition here with me as a lecturer. Uh, from university undergraduate who are studying math and physics, they come here, they receive free support. A student from uh, GCSE, A level, a further math student, they come here again and they have got so many success. They will hurt me and they will say to you, yes, we have done so. I'm not waiting. It's up to them. This the age range vary from 15, 16 to 25 and over. 
and then you got the music studio, you got the well, businesses, you got, you got systematic in terms yes. of you know classes, actual classes that you know parents can bring their kids on a Saturday, for example, you know Saturday classes and that kind of thing, where th- th- there's something that's set, and how much of the, how much of that is being cascaded to, to the community to say, yeah, you come to Sadaka, because this is the thing, you could spend, it's like spending a million, investing a million, right, into something, and investing zero into marketing that. It's almost like you're wasting that investment. Uh, uh, Tinashe, many people who are listening right now will understand. Remember what I've said to you at the beginning, business is priority. I'm talking from experience. I'm a 50 year old man who spent the last, the past 25 years of my life into senior position to understand what means business. That's why we're here and making Sadaka a success. I'm going to say this to you. If I give you a company that's half of a million in debt, Listen to this. That's very important yeah. because it's a complex equation for you to solve. I give you an organization that's a half of a million in debt. Mm-hmm. And uh, unluckily for you, it's, let's say it's a community organization, not, not a proper business. All the voluntary services that was in place, you probably, they won't become key priority. Remember, you have half of a million in debt into this system. If you know how the system works, when you're in debt already in this system, every single day is letter that you cannot ignore. Yeah. It's the police, it's the bailiff, it's your door knocking. Then your priority at the time is that, this, that's why I say to you, unless you stratify and understand what means key priority for a business and have a 15 years up to 20 years, first thing, key priority, let's st- stabilize the organization, meaning let's generate money very quick. By any means necessary. By thank you. Okay. Yeah, let's I, bring I, I, exactly. I, 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 let's I, I, bring the money to pay the debt first. Because when that debt is there now, and you probably got surplus, you got money to one side. You can then say, you know what? Let's free our elder for free. At the daycare right now, if you go there, I've given uh what, what's the name? Ross had food here on Thursday with two of his friends, Kiefer and Brooks, for free. If, if you ask these young men, they will say to you, I've said to them, you will have free food for a month. Why? If you ask me two, three years ago, will you give free food at the daycare? Impossible. Why a company who is massively in debt gonna give free food? But now that we have stabilized the organization and I've got a bit of money, I can say, you know what? Let me give free food to my community. Let even give money to people in, in my community who haven't got, then it's all to do with priority. You ask me about free services. These fresh free services will come. But before that free services come, you need to make sure your organization is stable. Keep priority. Then it's not like we're ignoring community services. Again, I've said this to you. Math classes has been running every Monday and Wednesday for the past six years, delivered by myself. And I can name you so many students who have gone there to have good degrees in math, to have to pass the further math. They're in good university, to have the, you know the, the I'm GCSE. Be, you know I'm going to be coming from a math module. You know? <laughs> exactly. You know You're welcome. You're welcome. You know but, and, and, so and exactly. And listen, mechanics, exactly. You know? And listen to this. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, you're perfectly, you perfectly right to come. I'm a math researcher. I mean, that's my passion. Yeah. That's my passion. And as gi- I've given, I-, I won't count the number of people from our from our own community that have helped over the years. And okay. in Sheffield, they knows me. That means for me, it's only to say to you that probably it's not for me to go out there and advertise because that's what my philosophy when you're working for charity. Remember, I am against those who will do good and put it out there to yeah, say, think, I've, yeah, I've yeah. helped this one. It's against, I, I sometimes say that even to my Muslim uh, community leaders who are out there, that how come you guys advertising a lot? I've seen you go on Facebook with so many pictures because you have given someone a five pound voucher, you take picture with them and put out there. You will you will never see me. And you and you two follow me on Facebook. You know pretty much my philosophy. When you're doing things, and I can and I cannot call number of people that personally have helped, but I will never put it out there to say I've helped people. No, because that's not the philosophy. It's all about a philosophy of life, and that's what we're trying to put in our community. Okay, so um I mentioned that you've obviously put some investment into the main main hall. Okay, so what are your plans to utilize? the rest of the building uh, is already are there any egg of excitement investments that you're planning to it's, it's, it's massive oh. that means the number one priority is to make uh, the building welcome because the building needed some that, that, that fresh you see that, that revamping it, it needed a fresh look to the building mm-hmm. and I'm pleased that we are achieving it it's so much but we cannot do that on our own I want you see fresh mind like you like you, your, your generation I'm 50 you got not my, my my generation but I want you got to come and first of all the one thing that we all want as you see leaders of Sadek is that our people show a lot of respect when they come in here. That means we need, this is, this is 
a, this is our diamond. That means you won't just drop a diamond like this on the floor. You need to keep hold of it and cherish it. That's the, that, that's first of all my message to our community. We need to cherish what we got. And also from us, you guys can see the change. You need to understand that when we come in here, we don't want any negative headline. Under our leadership here in Sadaka, the head of the, the police, all of them, I deal with them every single day. They praise Sadaka because they say, you know what? You got, apart from positive headline that I'm seeing coming when you go online, and you can see that Sadaka is actually a place whereby you can just Google Sadaka Limited on Google and see for yourself to understand that this is actually an organization that's sound, that's top, and that's what we need to cherish. Then what we want is to welcome our people in and for them as well to show massive respect to the organization. It's a two-way process. Okay. Um, we're going to wind it down because I know you've had a long day today. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I'm here for you and I'm passionate. Okay, I want yeah. to put it out there. I'm glad that you've, you've, you've got time for us. Um, okay. Sadaka so has for many years been used for entertainment by members of the black community. Uh, where does the community stand in terms of future events and what is Sadaka doing to engage the younger generation to preserve the culture? So Sadaka has historically been used, especially by the Afro-Caribbean community for events, which have done some events um, as well as many other members of the community. Obviously with the whole COVID situation, um, there's not been an events, but going forward, I'm going to skip the detail that we know. One of the biggest issues was security. Um, and one of the issues that I found as a promoter working with Sadaka is Sadaka has always put the onus on a promoter to commission the security, which is unheard of any venue. Why doesn't Sadaka take responsibility for commissioning the security that secures Sadaka as a venue? Yes, uh, first of all, thank you for raising that issue. Entertainment constitutes a massive part of our Bantu nation. I mean, that's the way we call ourselves Bantu, just meaning human being, because we don't distinguish between white yeah. and so on. We are part of a one, you see, human race, a unique mm -hmm. human race that originates from Africa, as you all know. Then we are Bantu nation. And for us, it's about, first of all, the landscape of entertainment has changed a lot, just like any landscape in this country. That means what used to happen, I work as a bouncer, for example, in this country for 20, for minimum 25 years, up and down the country. What we used to do as a bouncer 20 years ago, as a new bouncer now, you cannot do it. That means everything has changed. Yeah. Sadaka as well has evolved. What used to happen in the Sadaka 15 years ago cannot happen now due to trivial reason that we all know. But you talk about security. It is important, but I want to go further than security because for me, I can't comprehend that a black person that I bang to will come here in Sadaka with the intention to put a negative publicity out there for the organization. I don't I think- I can't comprehend this. No, yeah, bear, bear with me because I've seen and witnessed, you see some type of behavior here mm. that I cannot encourage. And you can put that away because in some places, the same customer will behave, but they are not gonna behave yes. here. Okay. I've seen, yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is important. And if you guys don't want to agree on it- I'm No, I agree with you. Agree. I agree Exactly. With you. Yeah, that, that means it's, and I want you to, to promote it actually. That means if you're here in your event and you're saying to people, because they're not just in endangering their life. They're endangering the life of, okay. of, of, of others. This is important. Then we need to move away. What I want to see, that this is my dream scenario, is to see event here where customer service, not security, where customer service is at the top. A bit like you will go into some posh venue. Of course, there will be security, but you won't even feel the security yeah. because everybody got a sense of, we're here to enjoy. Okay. We're not here to yeah. hurt each other. But you haven't really addressed like putting the onus on the promoter for the security scenario. I hear, I, no, I, I hear, but, yeah. But, but no. for, before we go there, yes. I'm going to, I'm going to explain something to you, um, Olivia. One of the reasons why the black um, people that have played patronage to Sadaka with events and everything have treated Sadaka the way it is, is, uh, it, is it goes with that analogy. If I walk into your house and I see that your house is well kept and, you know, um, your house is clean and everything, I'm not going to walk into your house with shoes on. I'm going to treat your house with the same respect that I see you treat your house. But whereas if I come to your house and I see that everything's messy and you basically throw things around and you don't even respect your own house, I'm going to match that energy. The same applies with Sadaka. When it, it's a, it's a thing about perception. Black people have perceived Sadaka as a dump. They've perceived Sadaka as 
a shithole, to be blunt. They've perceived Sadaka as a place that's not well kept. It's not being painted in the longest time, which wouldn't, which it's a two-way thing. The community could have took responsibility of maintaining Sadaka, but at the same time, Sadaka as an organization never took the lead in maintaining its infrastructure to the point where when people come here, they don't dress up like they're going to yeah, West Street. West Street. Mm-hmm. They dress up like they're going to just Sadaka. People mm. have always just had Sadaka. Just Sadaka. Mm. The, the, the perception yeah. of Sadaka has always been, us, it's, it's a, yeah, you know, it's, it's a Shubin. I don't want us to look back to, you see, Sadaka. No, but it explains past, how I, people have treated I the place. I, I understand, but you will agree with me that this is the past and let's look at it. But this is what we how, need to, now to, obviously to, to, the next time course. people come for, a, mm. for an event, my, my vision, like yes. yours, would be, you know, good customer service, everybody's dressed well, but at the same time, regardless of what you've always got to go back to is the fact that you are dispensing alcohol. And in any case where you're dispensing alcohol, of course, there's a security people's has, behavior, has, there's a security, there's a hazard. Even yeah. somebody that would be cool on a good day. Of course, Ken, of course. Anton, and Anton's Anton. more aggressive when he's had two magnets. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him fight physically. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? So yeah. there's that. So, no, 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 so no, no, we've it's, always yeah. got to of put course, security it's, it's, it's as it's a true. priority. I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this to you guys. And, and it's a simple way is because I will want people with the expertise when it comes to entertainment I see you guys as the expert that means that people who are out there it's your way of life you know a bit more every single person and I want you guys to come with advice and say to me I don't know but probably what I can deliver on security may not be good enough for you guys and depending on your event but I don't want it and I won't even accept it because remember it is not to make profit it's to entertain our people I don't see this then you can come to me if you come to me to say I want to entertain Sadaka because Sadaka will have a profit I will say to you you're going through the wrong way because no it's not just profit is important but that's not the way entertainment entertaining our people is the number one priority or even if in entertaining you also to make a bit of profit but entertainment is a dangerous business right now in because we're risking and this happened before there's so many businesses here in Sadaka then when we're talking about entertaining I'm always first of all worried I've got the whole of Sadaka is used by businesses Imagine in the morning, if you got your office here coming and then you can't get in because the police have closed Sadaka due to an event that happened. You see, the I can tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. Most of the times when Sadaka has had any incidents, I I can guarantee you Mm -hmm. that the security were understaffed or there was no security at all. So if that was to be addressed and if that was to, it's a, it, it sort of, I can put rather it, than be reactive, of course, let's I can be say proactive. I can say this to you. The previous year, yeah, I've cancelled many events and I'm sure you'll have heard it due to lack of security. I've cancelled, I think I've even cancelled one of your events. Yeah. Then there, I don't think there's anybody out there who is treated that sweeter than me. <laughs> I, I used to be a head dumb in myself. I know it. That means it is not something and Sadaka is not even the top, the sort of venue that I, I've worked in venue that's three times larger than Sadaka. But what I'm saying, if there is no security that cannot be an event you can put it that way because I always measure and I always may balance no but we shouldn't be even that's happening. Be, we shouldn't but be we should not even to, be there that's what to, I'm to, saying to that that, point, that, exactly we should be reflective on our approach and understand that if we're putting an event the first number one top priority is have I identified a security that I can deliver no, yeah but, but are, are you are you are, are you owning that as an organization are you organizing that organization you should be taking the owners of actually commissioning because guess what mm. if I go to a security company they're going to be looking at me as an individual an individual mm. if mm. you go to them as a as a, an organization uh, yeah we can facilitate that let's put it this way we can facilitate let's say you can identify a security firm then come yeah, to me we can we can sit yeah, down exactly and no no that's what I'm saying it's a exactly no, it's a collaborative to to yeah, of course to of that course that I hear, but I don't want it to be in the mind of people that you see it's all to do with security that when you come to Sadaka, there are people at the door with, uh, you see, with guns looking after, with dogs no, and so on. It's more about establishing no, a security no, company but that can have a rapport what, with what? patrons and that can actually police. And that, is, that, and that is reliable. The biggest guy. Yes. Mm. That is reliable. Mm. It's not about having the biggest, strongest guy. Sometimes about having I, the I, I, fairest and I'm going to say this to you from experience. And this is where our uh, we, we want to be. I've been into venue with nearly 2,000 people in and at the door doing the security where student, only customer services and people behave. This is because your radio station, what you guys are doing, 
you actually educate the community to understand that you don't actually go out with the intention that because I'm going to see that friend that I don't like, let me get him into that venue. You need to understand the consequences to what you're doing for others. Yeah. I've been into venue as a security guard where students are there. I'm the head doorman and I'm working with students. I want to see that here at Sadaka as well. Not because we're going to bring the Russian or bring all these people with big, big and so on. We put in an image like this venue is bad. That's why the security is so tight. Mm. That's you know, that's, do you that's, not think that's a little bit far fetched when if you consider if you go, you go to, to if town, you go into town they mm-hmm. have security. big guys so you've got venues yeah, they got the, the scariest the, but, 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 but the remember remember guys. of course and because those venues were built for that I'm going to say something to you Sadaka was never built to become a nightclub we are not yeah, a but nightclub when you are that's, operating as a nightclub you operate no, as, no, as no, a no, nightclub no we're not, no no we are not a nightclub because, but essentially because, you've got people partying in here so the yes, risk with a nightclub you've got to address them but then we minimize it no 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 we need to let me be frank with you the structure of the building and the way the building is it is it will never meant to be a nightclub remember it's a community center no community center out there will operate as a nightclub because a nightclub will have a different type of building you go in the main hall there and then you see that no even it cannot contain the sound yeah, but it's registered structure. as club and, sadaka right yeah no a rented a club a private club it's a private club it's a member it's a membership club then even you cannot just be someone on the street and come here and walk in here, you need to be a member. It's a membership club. That's first of all the type of license that we got. We are a membership club. Now, if you do a bit of homework into what means a membership club, you will understand. Yeah, like the workmen's events, club. When you have events, for example, when we got events, exactly, we got events notice which allows you which allow you to bring people from outside, but not to run as a nightclub. Or, like you understand a nightclub. No, I, I know exactly. how the ten process works because Ex- working with Sadaka, I've had to do it myself prior and to this, you guys taking up. That's okay. it. Then what I wanted to say to you is. When we look at Sadaka, I won't want anybody to say that Sadaka is a nightclub. No, because it's not a nightclub. We are not built to be. I mean, Sadaka wasn't. We are not. Our building is not like a nightclub building. You all know what means a nightclub. You go in town and then you you can see. You can compare the two. This venue is a community. This premises is a community center. Mm-hmm. But we do as, we do as well entertainment to entertain our people. Yeah. But in that entertainment, what we want to say to educate our people is to understand that when they come in here, they come in to actually make themselves happy and also make others happy yeah. they, they, they don't need to come here with the intention of coming to fight or coming to knife someone and so on and that's why my plea to you too is to educate your generation into yeah. that sort of understanding let me take another uh, example before you see you you go and move to the next question when there are dominoes party here our elders i will have sometimes 300 old men in here with no security <laughs> Let, let me say this. When oh, I see lads, exactly yeah. when I see three hundred of our elders here, nearly three hundred on a big domino, with people coming from London, from Birmingham, from Derby, and they're in there with a DJ, a plane. Trust me, you feel safe walking and so on. And there are people everywhere in the building, and nothing happened. Probably one person. Sometimes it's myself. I can be at the door just doing a kind of customer service. That's a very different circumstance for having young people in here with mm-hmm. in alcohol. So mm-hmm. You can have young people and have the same. But what Thank you. you need to do is if you work on changing the perception of Sadaka mm. as more a business institution. And so when people come here, they're not seeing the toilets smelling or looking derelict because that's a, that's a reality of it. Somebody said to somebody said to me, can you ask Sadaka if they're doing anything about them toilets? Because they mm. are disgusting. Mm. Facts. Yes. When you come here and you see that, you and, 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 and for me again, so again, you change that. You're jumping through the hoops. When people sometimes say that, I always say to people, do they actually understand the condition that Sadaka is? Example for you guys, remember the scenario that I've said to you at the beginning. You're taking a community service, that's half of a million in debt. Mm. What you need to understand, and you're calling on the community every single month. Remember, this is a membership organization. Your first question when you're talking to people all the time, and you can, and as I said to you, for the past three years, on our website, you can pay your membership. You don't need to be here. You can even donate 10 pounds. I donate 75 pounds a year for a white community to support the young people where I live to do 75 pound a year. Here we're asking people only 10 pound for the past 10 years. We haven't changed only 10 pound a year. Then ask them, ask them, first of all, are you a Sadaka member? Have you paid at least 10 pound to promote? And then when they say, Finn in Sadaka, ask them, do you actually volunteer? Have you ever been to Sadaka to say, you know what, your toilet, I've got a bit of money or with five, 10 of us, we can come and paint the toilet. We are not going to say no. So are you saying that you want more 
community so engagement. Of yeah. course, I want more community engagement. It's not my, it's not my sadaka. Remember, it's not my sadaka. No, yeah. I, I, I volunteer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's six years, six years, six days of. Listen, you guys, I hear this is Friday. What time is it? I've got six children. Mm-hmm. I've been here since half past eight. For the past 12 years with COVID, Sadaka has never closed. Every single day I've been here. Ask yourself who is doing this sacrifice for the community. Yeah. Six days a week. So you're carrying the load for him. Exactly. Come on, man. You, you, you can't just... Then for me, it's about asking our people, what are you doing? Are you just sitting on your ass and waiting for everything to come to you directly? Or are you actually getting up, knock the door of Sadaka and say, I can offer this as well to support? And... Shout out to many people out there, black, white, Asian, who have actually supported Sadaka recently and over the years. Because trust me, this job is not just me or us, the board. No, there are people there that you guys don't know who are white, who are Asian, who actually support Sadaka. But the faces are not known. But this is what we call truly community. That means charity. You don't need to big mouth about what you're doing, but you just do the job yeah. to actually take the community forward. Then this is massively important. That's why I'm asking yourself, always challenge those who just who are negative about all the work of Sadaka and say to them, the bare minimum is being a member. Are you a member of Sadaka? Have you ever attended a member meeting? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I that's got, the bare minimum. I have a, I have a question for you. I, ha, I have a gripe. I got a phone call because people knew I was coming down here today. Yes. And the, one of the questions was, how do you manage your business in regards to rates? So if somebody comes and approaches you and they ask for, I don't know, a room to rent out or whatever. Is there set prices and how does, how does the whole structure work? It, it, it hasn't changed since I've been here. This is something, there is a room hire service, just like many places. You will email Sadaka or call Sadaka. There is an admin department and then they will get it. I'm the chief exec. You are not going to access it. That means it's well structured. I'm talking to you about a business that's very well structured. You, you don't just, you see, <laughs> you just don't turn a, a half of a million debt if your business plan is not rock solid or outstanding. Yeah. That means I receive praise from any single stakeholder here in the city. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we take the leadership so that can now work with pretty much all the organization, white, Asian, and the, sh- the leadership is shared a month because it's not for me. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's because many people who are less fortunate compared so to from, me. So from a business perspective, it's, it's so, very so the clear. Very, because. exactly. It's very, because that's the only way to, to make successful. The thing, uh, Chinashe, uh, in our community is the fact that we are not business minded because you see, and, and it's not, it's not a, it's not a criticism, but we don't study business. Remember, we don't study business like we study Jesus. Yeah. We don't. If we study more business compared to studying Jesus, we'll probably do a bit more and understand how system works. So the message is people need to stop expecting freebies from Sadaka and actually start realizing that they can actually contribute and they can actually help themselves. So that, yeah. of, of course, that's a reality. It's you, your you, community you, center too, basically. Exactly. It's your community center. <laughs> Don't keep saying, who are those people? Who are those people? people yeah, who are those doing? people? Yeah. Exactly. Are those doing? people are people like you, like me, who are actually, who is paying you for this program? Yeah, yeah. No. Who is paying you to inform me? Who is paying you? I know that this is volunteer. Otherwise, otherwise I won't waste my time if I knew that someone is paying you. I won't. Yeah, I, will, I will say to you, exactly. Is, that's because, and that's why I'm praising you. <laughs> exactly. Do you understand? that's because you got at your very young stage of life yeah. you already got a change we got the same vision but I'm just a bit more advanced into my vision compared to you yeah. from live experience I think, but, I, I think it's been a learning point for both of us yeah yeah, yeah. 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 that means these are the key question. both of you you're not a member because I've known all the members you haven't paid your 10 pound and, and you haven't paid your 10 pound then oh, after this yeah, yeah. no 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 it, 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 <laughs> no you guys are not a member then you should not even be in this building now. but I'm letting you be in, man. You're not members of Sadaka, but you're talking too much. <laughs> 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 See, but you are talking hey, too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not even a member of Sadaka, but I used to be a member. Yeah, you used to be. You used to be, yeah. you used to be but, but you understand. You want information on something that you are not privy. Yeah, yeah. Do you it. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. That means it's a bit like me knocking your house and I don't live at your home. So, and so and I'm asking so, you. If you're interested in, if you 
if you have an interest in Sadaka, you really should. Best thing. That's the number as one. Yeah, so yeah, how yeah, how how do you become a member? Can you just tell it to the people out it's, there? It's easy. We live in in a smart world now. What well, I mean, smart. I mean, it's a, a, where everything is on, it's online. That's what I've called about smart. If you go onto the Sadaka website at yourself, praise very well. That means, yeah, it looks yeah, good. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. <laughs> it looks outstanding. Not yeah. just good. That means you can go there, go onto the membership form, and you can just fill your detail, and then you're gonna see the ten pound. Just enter your debit card that everybody got. Pay your ten pound. You, you can even pay more if you want to. Okay. I expect someone like you to probably pay hundred pounds. <laughs> I mean, he's always doing this. <laughs> 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 yeah. You said you pay seventy-five. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. 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 This is very important for us. That means for me, I would like you when we got this next show, I to say, to challenge me and say how many members we got now. Yeah. Now you need to be disappointed if I say to you that still your generation are not even member, but yet they're coming to you to talk about Sadaka. Yeah. Then you need to diss them. You need to say, listen, don't even talk to me if you can prove that you're a Sadaka member. Yeah. You're not privy. Remember, Sadaka is a membership organization. <laughs> It's a membership. Okay, um, I think. Yeah. No, let's let's carry on. It, it, it's part of it. <laughs> that means you gotta press the button, and I don't want you to stop. <laughs> let's clear the air here so okay. that our community understand that we're here to do the good work for our community. Yeah. We want to see our people out there being respect. You see, being respected because we're leading the number one organization in the city. Okay, so you've talked about some of the stuff that you've done for the community. What about Saturday school for? you know, black history and things like that. Is there a plan for that to be in place or is that something that's already happening or? Yes, uh, proud to COVID, it was happening it, 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 in a more expansive way. It's COVID that really just like, not just Sadaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly, that complete damage. So you, are you saying that was already in place? It was already in place. It was, the key question that you could ask is how well was it advertised? I, I was again, literally about exactly, to say that again. Yes, yeah, yes, how well? <laughs> They, they were thing happening. I think Tinashe been here. I've seen Tinashe with some of uh, his uh, children here yeah, to, yeah, to do yeah. exactly. That means that the, the, there were so many things. Again, what I'm saying is our people should not expect me to come and knock their door and ask them, this is happening in Sadaka. They need to take the leadership themselves and say, I've got my organization in Sheffield. What are they doing? And be a bit curious. Have a walk around. Come here. Nobody gonna, come on. You know how welcome we are. And you see, they need to actually go walk in Sadaka and see for themselves or even visit the website. How many people know that Sadaka website exists? People from our community, because the other community knows more about our website than our people. Okay, I've got a question for you, Olivia. Um, yeah, this will be the last question. Um, Sadaka has historically been, uh, the leadership of Sadaka has historically been predominantly from the Afro- Afro-Caribbean community. Um, personally, I believe this would be the first time that I've seen um, anybody from who's of African nation, of, uh, how do I even? Direct African descent. Yeah, who's of direct African descent, uh, f- born in the motherland, be in, um, you know, a position of leadership in Sadaka. Um, how have you found it being in the position that you are engaging with other uh, members of the community and um, how have you found it trying to promote the concept of pan-Africanism yeah. in the organization? I will first of all disagree with, uh, you see, uh, your question. That means that the leadership- I probably didn't structure yeah, 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 it yeah, well. Exactly. No, 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 no. You did, you did, you did. But I will say to you, the founders of Sadaka were, were Gavi, Gaviat, if you're going to call it. That yeah, means, Gav- uh, Gaviat, exactly, yeah. exactly. That means people who, who truly believe in Pan-Africanism. That means for them, they will be furious if you even call them, they were, uh, that means from, that means no. Okay, they have yeah, exactly, yeah. They, they identified uh, then, uh, uh, according to exactly, Pan-Africanist Exactly, exactly. Lines, this. Yeah. And this is still, you see, our vision. We are a one nation. We don't, we don't distinguish. I will be fuming if someone said to me, that's a Cameroonian, although I was born in Cameroon and that's yes, a Nigerian so. and so on. No, no, no. We are Bantu. That means the first human being. <laughs> that's who we are. Regardless of your color, science leads us to one place. 
Hmm? We come from the motherland. Not that every, means exactly. I, I think not everybody sees it that way. No, not everybody, but but we are not there for those everybody. Not, the, not, not not seeing organization to be a unifying factor. Okay, you got between it. Between yeah. the what Caribbean yeah. um, Africans and let's say the Zimbabweans and it's the, the leadership. It's, it's the leadership. You come here today. I, I, have you seen anything into our discussion that that said to me that uh, I'm talking in terms of countries? No, no, you, no. you, you, it's you just, haven't. It's, it's exactly, it's exactly. Okay, that, so that, me, that's it. And this is important, Tinashe. That question lead me to identity. Remember, I always say to people, identity is, is, is a function of time. And when I say a function of time, is how far back do you identify yourself? Yeah. When you got this color, there is only one nation. I see you, no matter w- what you want to believe in, when you port, when you got this shade, there is only one place. And even if you were white, my white friend knows that they're African. Yeah. My white friend will wear this and you can see them on Facebook. They wear this. In fact, I've got probably free football team who play with this. That means that sponsor, that bank to leadership sponsor okay, them. Yeah. That means they identify. They got no shame. This is the science. If you refuse to follow the science, what is proven, fact, then who are you? Human being evolved from Africa. That's the full stuff. That means no matter who you are, whether even if you're Asian, you are an African. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether you're black, you're an African. Whether you, you're white, you're an African. This is science. And I stick with that science. Okay, so I'm going to go right here and say that part of the phone call that I got on the back of this was that there has been a move to try and remove Caribbean-based events from Sadaka. Mm, no, so these are people here. Who, when they say Caribbean be, uh, uh, event, yourself know the DJ who play here. That means if if I'm just talking generically, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I hear you, uh, uh, and, it's, and it's great to bring all those non, uh, nonsenses. And again, I, I will say it's our colonial education that make us speak like this: divide and rule. Our colonial or OEC education, because most of the education that we that that, that we receive is based off one person agenda. The white man agenda, and they have designed it so well to divide us. When people say, "I've only seen that there has been a move to say this," I will say to you and you guys, DJ. What other? Who are the DJ here in the city apart from probably you who are born in the continent? I think here in Sheffield, most of the rest are probably DJ who are born here, or probably from. I would say yeah, yeah, that means this, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. These are the facts. Then yeah. when I hear nonsense like this, that's that's only based. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that means yeah, yeah. 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 Then. <laughs> I call this a lot of nonsense. <laughs> that, that means it's people with small brain who are talking complete shit. Uh, uh, sorry, my right. French. No, well, right. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. And again, that's not the vision. You don't come here to say to me Caribbean or African. No, you come here as a Pan Africanist. Mm-hmm. That's okay. if you're not a Pan Africanist, Sadaka is not for you. Let's put it that clear. Okay. If you're not a Pan Africanist, if you don't recognize that your origin is African, then it's not the place. It, it's not the place for you. All right. Cool. Yes, yes. Do you understand? And this is not me saying it. This is science. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you got to recognize it. Yes. That's the place. Okay. Um, well, it's a fan card special guest, man. Yeah. He's, he's been informed. Maybe he's not I shied mean, away from none of the questions. Yeah. You, 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 yeah, you, I mean, you dealt with it like a true warrior. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. No, you got to be. When you're just, passionate just, about just something. So, yeah. Just so you know, there's the, at some point we will probably do a part two. In the yeah, we might come back for a part two. Not just part two. I want you guys. Yeah, we can work yeah. Yeah. That means when you hear any nonsense. No, no, no. For me, listen, I'm, I'm an educationist. I spent all my life in education mm-hmm. before I retired six years ago. But I used to, I, I worked in the city of London in finance before moving back into education and educate people from higher level, you see middle level and bottom level. And I'm extremely passionate about the growth of our community. And my knowledge of who we are as black is extremely deep and I'm not going to cut through any or cut through the hoops. No, I want to be linear. That means follow exactly point by point and challenge anybody with nonsense so that we can put it out there clearly. Yeah. Yes. So, so we'll be back. No, 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 of course. <laughs> and, and I will welcome you. But remember what I've said. Sadaka is a membership organization. That's the bottom so line. Sorry, we'll get our membership, membership next time. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> then, then, then when someone stop you and want to know about Sadaka, your first priority, unless it's a business, if it's a business person who come to me, I don't need to ask them, are you a member? He's coming to give me money. Yeah. But if someone just want to come and use the service and say Sadaka is not doing anything for you, the first question is, show me your 
minimal. Your membership card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's only 10 pounds. And our elder do it best. That's Today, it. I've seen many of them lining up here to pay the membership. Mm. I'm talking about our elders. Yeah. Yeah. They'll pay it. The leading. They pave the way and the leading again for those who are still remaining with us. Why not about your generation? We only asking for 10 pounds. But what I'm saying, seeing all the work that we are doing, why couldn't it? Why could your generation who spend loads of money even go on Sadaka website and say, you know what? I'm not giving 10 pounds. This is a shame on me. Let me give 50 pounds, 100 pounds. It doesn't change me at all. Yeah. Because elders like myself have put thou- thousand times that 100 pounds into my own community. My time only. How will you cost my time six days a week yeah, for over six uh, years? Yeah. Tell me how much it will cost my time yeah, yeah, with yeah, my yeah. skill, my qualification. Yeah. Yes, exactly. But I'm giving it to our community for free. And I've got six young children that I've got to look after. What time is it? And I'm sitting here because I'm passionate about our community. It's not because of a place that I'm living. No, it's because people who look like me haven't had a fair deal in, you see, in, in the city. And if I've got something to change it, I will go f- to war to actually change it. But at the same time, I want the generation behind me to understand what means sacrifice for the community. Yeah. And they need to I, come here with that. I think point. that's a good point. I, I, yeah. I, I, can't, I can't argue you, with that. You, 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 um, yeah, so can't argue. You got, you, you, mm. At the end of the day, it is a, it, it's a community service and it, community is the word. So if you don't see something you like, you should be involved. And if you, you should invest into your community building to, you know, go for a better place. I, I, exactly. I that was. T- thank you. I'm so pleased you guys will come to this same conclusion. Yeah. That means people need to stop criticizing and ask themselves. Uh, I, don't what, know, yeah, I, think, yeah. I think the criticism need to stand because mm. obviously that, yeah, that means you ask the question. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No, 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 it's, it's not bad. Yeah. But I want people before they criticize, first yeah. of all, to say to them, exactly. What have you yeah. done as an individual? What have you done? That means yeah. before you get to the criticism, yeah. what ask it? for your input. Yeah, yeah. What have I done? Yeah. You example, I won't criticize you because I know that you are one of the GG, both of you that have probably taken more money behind the bar when you, your yeah, event yeah, is yeah, here. So yeah. And then you I can say, that black that, that's, an, exactly, the that, black that's an added value. And I'll get frustrated if I don't work with you to say, you know what? Let me keep these two brilliant young men, great entertainer in our community. Let me keep them so that they bring that black pound into our community rather than take it somewhere else. Yeah. But at the same time, I need to balance between taking the black pound and the security aspect of it yeah. and how we're going to be put, we're going to put ourselves. I think we in where the yeah, security yeah. It, thing's concerned. Exactly. We need to balance yeah. everything because remember at the end of the day, it's a business premises. So there's a lot more to lose than... Yeah. Massively, massively. Especially now that it's actually been used to... It's- I, I say fully, fully. It's a business place. Yeah. Then, and you know what means business? I can end up in jail because I've signed contract with people to say no. <laughs> you will be here. They pay, they pay, they, they pay the rent. They expect to come in the morning and open Saraka yeah, and go into yeah. the room and do the business. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you understand? Then you cannot afford to have an event where in the morning no one can get in Sadaka and Sadaka is locked for a month. Yeah. What about these people? Then you got to balance everything. Yeah. That's mm. fair. Okay. I think it's fair to wrap up now. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Thank, okay. thank, thank you very much for our special <laughs> guest. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for, you know, being honest and answering our questions without ducking and yeah. dodging. No, and, it, of know, course, of course, yeah. it's been brilliant. Uh, I, I truly think, like uh, it. We look forward to the next time we link up. Yeah, definitely. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, thank you. Can you... Uh, Yo. Yeah.